Are you having lag issues when it comes to using Streamlabs OBS streaming to Facebook Live? Well, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Walt from Live Streaming Tech. In today's video, we're going to talk about lag issues, Streamlabs OBS, and streaming to Facebook Live. And I'm going to show you some possible tips and tricks when it comes to solving lag issues when it comes to using Streamlabs OBS to stream to Facebook Live. And I got five of them for you, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Tip number one, and this is the most important, and nine times out of 10, I've seen this in the comments, and it has resolved the issue when it comes to lag when streaming to Facebook Live using Streamlabs OBS, and that is using Wi-Fi. That's right. Do not use Wi-Fi unless you absolutely positively have to. Here's the thing. You can have the best Wi-Fi set up. You can be sitting right next to your router slash modem and still have lag issues or terrible pixelation, whatever you want to call it. Plug directly in. That's right. Take that Ethernet cable, plug directly into your laptop or to your PC and plug directly into that router slash modem that you're using to resolve any lag issues. Nine times out of 10, this will solve that issue. Tip number two, and that is some of the settings here. So let's go ahead and jump over here to Streamlabs OBS. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and left click that sprocket down here in the lower left hand corner that says settings the second tip is the encoder that you're using that's right i know you're sitting there thinking walt how does this have to do with my lag issues the thing is is all these videos on youtube and we're even guilty of it as well using it saying streamlabs obs best settings obs best settings the thing is is those settings are not a one size fits all the settings that we say are the best are the ones to start out with. This is the baseline settings that you would want to use. So, for instance, if you have an, uh, a dedicated graphics card, what that means is it's not an onboard graphics card. It is separate. You have to plug your monitor into a separate card and you're not plugging in into the motherboard. And I'm looking at anything like 1060, maybe 1070 and above when it comes to NVIDIA graphics cards. And unfortunately, that is what it supports is the NVIDIA graphics cards is the NVEC. That is what my encoder is set to now if you do not have a dedicated graphics card you unfortunately are going to be stuck with the x264 what that does is that puts the workload now on your cpu so if you have a dedicated graphics card and you are still set to x264 you're letting your cpu do the workload go ahead and change that over to nbec and that should help you out because now what it's doing is you are splitting that workload. You're allowing your CPU to do its work that it needs to do. And you are telling the graphics card, okay, pick up some of this workload as far as encoding goes, as far as your live stream is concerned. A lot of times that will reduce that bottleneck and allow you to stream without lag. The third tip, and that is bit rate. As you see, it automatically put me down to 2,500, which is very slow. And luckily for me, I can go up to 6,000 kilobits per second. And unfortunately, that is the max that Facebook is allowing us to go to as of right now, the recording of this video. But I recommend starting out at 4,000 kilobits per second. Now to see that if your internet provider allows you to stream this amount, you wanna do a speed test. Open your browser up and do a internet speed test. And what you're gonna focus on is the upload speed. So it doesn't matter what your download is, it's all about the upload when it comes to live streaming. So say I went ahead and I did a speed test and it shows that I only have four megabits per second. That is 4,000 kilobits per second. That is what our bit rate is set to. I would actually want to then set it just below that. I want a little bit of wiggle room when it comes to that, but my, I can handle definitely 6,000. So I have well above six megabits per second. I'm usually around like 10, 12, so on forth as far as when my upload speed is concerned. That's the other thing. Test it out at different times or actually test it out right before your stream several times to make sure that it's going to be able to handle that speed. The fourth tip, once again, it is under settings and it's going to be the video. Yes, that's right. So you have to remember this, just because you leveled up, say live streaming on Facebook and you are now allowed to stream at 1080p doesn't necessarily mean you should. I have had people that have done this where they have leveled up and they say, okay, wait a minute, Walt, I can stream at 1080p, but now my stream looks like garbage. What gives? Well, here's the thing. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. It is also, once again, it's not a one size fits all. It depends on your content. It depends on how much you are doing during the live stream and 
I like to sit there and set my base canvas resolution. That is what I see. That is on my monitor, that the 1080. Because here's the thing, I don't want to look at 720. Even though my viewers have to look at it, I don't want to look at it. And then make sure your output scaled resolution. That is what is actually going up. That is what is going to the Facebook Live servers. That is what your viewers are going to see, that 720. Go ahead and try to drop that down and see if that solves the problem when it comes to lag or say pixelation when it comes to using Streamlabs OBS for Facebook Live. My final tip is this, and that is your sources. How many sources are you running per scene? The more sources you're running, the more your CPU is going to have to work. Here's the thing, you can have bottlenecks on your end and you can have the best internet speed, you can be directly plugged into it, you have all the graphic settings, everything's looking great on your end, but the problem is, is if you are running tons and tons of sources, you have to remember, you're putting alerts on there, you're putting backgrounds on there, you're putting uh, uh, overlays, uh, if you're using a stream deck, you're possibly using a bunch of keys on there to pop up uh, memes, GIFs, so just remember, the more you're putting on your source, the more is going to have to run when you're running Streamlabs OBS. And this even goes for OBS as well. So don't think, oh, well, I'll just stop using Streamlabs OBS and jump over to OBS Studio because the fact that I'll be able to possibly get away with it there. That is not the actual case. And the thing is, is try to limit those sources down. If you found that you are running into issues and you've done all the other four tips, go ahead and reduce some of those sources. Get them out of there. And the easiest thing to do is you just click on it right click hit remove boom it is gone now that source is gone so we have freed up that little bit much more and the last bonus tip i know i said i was only give you five tips but here's the bonus tip the bonus tip is if you're using a laptop to stream that does not have a dedicated graphics card or anything like that and you can be directly plugged in you just have to remember laptops just do not have that horsepower that most desktop pcs have so if you're trying to stream say fortnite and you got the graphics cranked and everything looks good on your end and you're like well wait a minute wall it looks like total garbage on facebook's side yes we all admit facebook is potato when it comes to live streams they are con kind of not caught up yet but you also have to remember it's all about horsepower too on your end it's what your pc or your laptop can handle so if you find out that you're running into lag issues or pixelation issues or whatnot when it comes to streaming to Facebook Live, definitely use that as a last resort. But you know what's not a last resort is watching this video here where we talk about a little bit more about Facebook Live. Definitely give it a look, drop your comments below, or check this video out here that YouTube recommends. And don't forget to hit that like button or share this video. Until then, I'll see you soon.